Hey guys, how's it going? So it is time for some more custom zombie action, and I just came across this map that looks pretty gosh dang dope, Erosion MW3 Remastered. So I did not, uh, I was not really, you know, playing COD super hard, super heavy, whenever Modern, War Modern Warfare, yeah, Mo Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare was in its prime, so I'm not really familiar with this map erosion, but it looks like a dope one to play zombies on, so going into it, welcome to MW3 Erosion in the zombies game model, when worlds collide, the premise crew is sent to fight the undead horde in Mount uh, uh, Vesuvius? Italy, uh, battle your way through the abandoned village and discover its secrets along the way. Notable map features is the Zetsby no Shima Thrasher, which is just like the boss. He's always a pain in the butt. Got the Nightbreaker Melee uh, Wonder Weapon. Wait, Phil and Stab, happy acquired the Nightbreaker Melee Weapon to help your efforts in fighting. Also, I don't know if we build it or if we just find it, what the deal with that is. Got Dig Sights, can play random advantages when they need it most. Who knows, might even harm you. That's the grenade thing. Other features, MW3 weapons, MW3 erosion, ambient sounds, brazen bull shield, tiger hellhounds, ancient evil style challenges, premise crew with Voxus, dynamic getaway pass throughout the map, buffed zombie health and speed, uh, charred zombies from uh, revelations, no perk limit, small uh, Pack-a-Punch and Wonder Weapon Quest. Bible ended 25k in front of Pack-a-Punch. This right here map was posted July 17th, updated July 19th, and today it just passed midnight, and it is now uh, the 20th. So, hopefully we don't run into any major bugs or issues, and this is all the uh, flipping, you know, the credits and the, the people, so much appreciated. Um, we got the the pin stuff in case we get too hung up on the actual Pack-a-Punch quest, the Wonder quest, all that garbage. Um, so all that's left to do is take and hop into a game solo. Boom, I th I'm hoping everything downloaded accordingly. Um, yes, here it is, Erosion MW3 Remastered. Let's go. Hopefully we have a little bit better luck than we did in the last video as far as figuring things out. But either way, we'll have a good time. It looks like it's going to be a pretty, like, noticeably, or notable large map. I kind of wish I could also have played the original version that they were showcasing in the before and after pictures, because, I don't know, it just looks kind of like almost that retro, older style of a game, and, like, sometimes custom, like, almost kind of feels, looks like it would feel like World at War custom zombies, and that might even be um, where that was from. No clue. If I'm going to be honest about it. Yeah. <laughs> Boom, but here we go. So, oh, let's hopefully the frame rate ain't going to be bending us over. So, we got a P99. We got the Quick Revives. The Quick Revive looks a little bit different to me, but we're going to cop the Quick Revive. Oh, my God, bro. These guys right here, they need to eat a sandwich or something. Man. They flipping skin and bones, bro. And they're bald. But, I mean, I know it's like the whole <clears throat> the whole burned, uh, burned corpse deal that they're going for. Okay, I feel like we just made a lot of points really fast. So that's... Jesus Christ, mate! Three Gs! That's a thousand. I don't know where that goes. This is 750. Can't get up there. Okay. Oh! Oh! I don't know how, like, the whole hitbox and stuff is going to work. You know, anytime we're going into the old custom Zambays, we uh, we go in blind. So, just got to roll with the punches. I'm hoping I can get an insta-kill for two rounds, but I doubt your boy's going to get that lucky. Now, it didn't say anything about shootable garbage, but it did say we got a, a zombie shield we can build. So, we do need to be, uh, you know, vigilant. I don't know how powerful this pistole is either. Okay, nobody else is there. Okay, well, I guess that's one way to power through a round. Well, this thing's 350. I feel like this is like, going to be a much more open area. There's the Pack-A-Punch machine. God, it would be so helpful if I actually knew what the layout of this map was. Uh, oh, hello there, son. Okay, I'm going this way. Because we running out of the wiggle room. And if the wiggles taught me anything, you got to keep on wiggling, you know? 
Boom, that's nothing. While wow, we still got these guys moving nice and slow, just kind of get a little bit of a feel for the map. That's where we build the Brazen Bull, I'm assuming. Okay, that area looks nice. How many zombies we got? Two or three? That door. Jesus Christ, Brian! You gotta be a god dang... Uh, I can't really tell where we're at. It feels like we're in, like, Egypt or something. Some we're in, we're in something, that's for sure. Where's the mystery box? So it looks like the mystery box is this way. There it is. So if we do this and we buy this door, we're going to be pretty... We're going to be... Oh, that is a... I do not like that door at all. Must turn on the power. Okay. I've not noticed any power symbols. And I feel like I'm kind of playing playing with fire. Not to be making fun of these guys' condition, because, you know, somebody needs to get these fellas some lotion. Okay, sweet. We got just enough for the old box. And just in time, too, because we write out the... Uh, Jeez! Okay, MP9. That does not feel like this is going to be a good weapon, but... Got to roll the punches. So, wait, did this open... Did buying the door the way I buy it open this up? No, we're in a different section. It looks like spawn. Okay, over here is spawn. This is a thousand as well. And I think that essentially got us to where we was. So the price of the doors might not directly, you know, be linked to the importance of where they go to. Like normally that is the case, but can't really, can't really go off that alone. Get maximum pointage out of that. Jesus Christ, bro. The ammo in this thing is not going anywhere. That's like ridiculous. Let's see if we can get some melee kills out of these fellas. Okay. Wait, where's the last guy? Dang it! Okay, well, they walking slow, so we'll let them just kind of meander around. We've got another one right here. Go for them knife points. Scavenger right on the other end. Okay, so I didn't, I did not keep track. It seems like we've done 17, 1,000, 17, 50, and then 1,000, or 1,000, 1,000. So, like, I think we come out ahead by not buying this $3,000 door. So that might rain true. The Scar L 1500. We might end up buying that instead of hitting the box. Now, see, whenever it said Pack-A-Punch... Let me look at... Like, I'm just going to go ahead and take a peek at this. The Pack-A-Punch Quest and Wonder Weapon Quest. Um, but it, And it's like, press all the buttons around the map. Pick up the fuse. Place fuse in the box. Electrify your grenades. Throw grenades. At Pack-A-Punch to power it on. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's no way I'd figure that out in a, the short amount of time. we. Can. Oh, but here's the power. Look at that. So we turn on the power first, so now the power's on. Uh, and so there's a fuse box somewhere? Uh, okay, well, we got perks on, so now we actually just need to kind of scope out and see where Jug is. Wait, is that Jug right there? Yes, sir! Okay. And I seen, I don't know if that was to buy a door or if that was for a part. I know I've seen an X somewhere. What did that say? God dang it. The zombies are flipping, crowding, crowding my stop. What am I hung on? Wait, to activate but Okay, so this is what buttons look like. How many buttons is there? The buildable table room near the stamina up, near PhD, near the power switch. Okay. What... What am I seeing? Show... Oh, that's the diggable... I gotta swear I've seen something that said press X, though. Okay, here's PhD, and there's a button. Do not have the funds, though. Next, because I need to get another weapon, honestly. But i seen... Where was that buildable table do jig at? I think it was over here. Normally, I'm pretty good at, like, memorizing the... Ma oh, that's another dig thing. So, we need to find a shovel. 
It says one near stamina up, so I don't know if that means down here. I'm sure it's in there. Normally the shovel's like near the spawn room. But since this is like an archaeological site, it's probably somewhere more archaeologically. So that's not the word. That is not the right word, but you know what I mean. It's just you never know if the shovel's meant to be like hanging up or if it's meant to be like, you know, you just you just don't know. Bro, I'm I'm honestly frustrated with myself right now because I know that buildable table was just like a flipping lick the god dang thing. Eh. Oh sweet. Oh Bro, these little ramps right here are gonna be what really end up being my downfall. Okay, where's the last one? So I got I definitely gotta find a better gotta find a better area to, to maneuver around. Boom. Okay, here we go. The PKP the what now? The PKP Pechenig? Okay, so we got tigers. I don't know. Hey, well, we found a dog glitch. These tigers look a lot creepier than the ones... Like, these tigers make me feel uncomfortable. And they are not weak. Like, they are not weak either. Like, normally dogs are a couple bullets to the noggin. These things are eating some bullets up. Anyway, it said Bible... What did it say? A Bible ending across from pack punch but I guess you have to do the do the challenge first so I don't know which door to buy first either I'm not sure if we should go for uh, we should go for speed cola or go ahead I think we should probably just go ahead and start opening doors while it's early on so we get these steps out of the way Because we can always, we can also make a crawler. Something, this spot right here seems like they're having kind of a hard time understanding how these stairs work, or this ramp works, the same way that it's kind of hard for me to get up and down it, so. If I can take advantage of that. Like, see, the zombies are weaker than the goddamn dogs, or tiger dogs. Tiger dog do jig, there we go, that's the word. I'm halfway scared of miniguns now in custom zombies. But I like I do want to see if it's like the regular mini Oh. If it's the red Jesus Christ, can this thing reload any slower? Okay, we got the regular death machine. Okay, I wanna see if I can make a crawler with this fella. Yes. So now as long as they don't just start like spawning in front of me every two seconds, we can uh, So we've got pack a punch button. Now we need okay, I'm assuming this is the stamina up button. But or this is the one one outside the buildable table room, one near stamina up. Maybe it means like this side. Yes. So the only one left is the one near PhD. That's mule kick. Did this guy, did he grow legs, or is a crawler still over here? Okay, we still got the crawler. Yeah, bro, I don't know what it is. Something about, something about this map is just, like, not mapping to end the... Oh, wait, so you can just end the game anytime you want. So we could just grind for the points and still end the game, but... Oh, wait, for part... I don't know which part we got. Probably should have looked better, but... Uh, oh, yeah, PhD's over here. And how much is the door? It's got, of course, it's 1750. And there's the button, too. We, we might could go the long way. 
Oh, we're so close. If there was a wind, it seems like everybody's just popping out of the ground. Oh, bro, one book. We just need one point. But I know this crawler's going to flip and die if I shoot him. Yeah, can somebody please tell me where a godforsaken shovel... Oh, I keep... Mm. Every time I see an X pop up, I just immediately be like, Oh, got to check that out again. Have we done this one? Yep. I feel like we've just about done every single... See, this goes to pH. Oh, look at that. Okay. Press all the buttons. Pick up the fuse in the room above M16. Okay. That, oh, look at that. Hot, baby. Wait, pick up the fuse. Place the fuse in box to the left of pack punch. Okay, what box are we talking about? Pick up the fuse, place fuse in box to the left of pack a punch. Oh, it's way to the left. Electrify your grenades next to PHD. First, you have to press all the wall. You throw a nade in front of the box on the wall in front of the buildable bench to get Wonder Weapon. Okay, let me see what that's about. It's a very simple way to get a Wonder Weapon, so I don't know if that's true or not. And we might have to have them electrified as well. in front of the box in front of the box on the wall in front of the buildable bench that right there boom baby look at that let's trade this out then so it says this is the wonder weapon I don't necessarily know why this would be a wonder weapon but I'm not an expert so can we inspect it we can spin it. Huh. Okay. Well, cool beans. So now it said the thing about PhD, so let's check that out real quick. I done halfway forgot how I got over there a minute ago. It is nice to kind of have like a little bit of a mobility boost by having a melee weapon, but we got to keep in mind we've got this PKP do jig that is like weighs more than flipping uh, a sumo wrestler. I don't know how I've, like, I haven't, oh! Oh, that's how we did charge the grenades, okay. I thought, oh, and a, sh bro, everything's over here. Now we just need another shield part. Okay, so let's do this. Hey, that's pretty nifty, honestly. I kind of, I dig that. Okay, so I guess next step is get speed cola, and then we can focus on pack-a-punching or getting the Bible ending and just, you know, having a fun, nifty time. We'll wait till that crawler kind of gets in sight of our vision, and then we will keep her going. Is that an older pack-a-punch machine? I don't know why, but for some reason it looks kind of like I don't know, it just looks different. This thing better keep a goddamn fast melee speed if we're going to use it, because... Oh, wait, is this the same LMG that we got? It sure is, so we can get ammo with this bad boy and everything, so we're good. Oh, so you can do that and, like, aim it. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, 
Okay, this thing's kind of making me nervous. The melee speed isn't as like fast as I was hoping it would be. Okay, and the range doesn't seem to be that good either. God dang, bro. The reload speed's so slow! I mean, it seems to be hitting... Why is there blood coming out of, like... Oh, there must be a zombie model or something, like, frozen in place there. Only downside, bro, to hitting up the, uh... Hitting up the, the custom maps early on is just some of the old... Oh my Jesus Christ, where did he come from? Okay, I gotta get out of here, because that... Oh, he's fast. Did I kill him? Well, I goofed. Dude, he's back. Oh, dude, I think I'm dead. I think I'm going to die. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I, oh, I'm dead, dead. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I can pull a clutch out of my butt. If I can get quick revive again, this is the intense part, bruh. Not gonna lie to you, this wonder weapon does not feel very wonderful. I feel like this guy's broken. I hope he doesn't peek his ugly head around every, like, doesn't come around every round. I really wish I didn't have this LMG. This LMG is, wait, what was that? Okay, I think maybe if I can pack a punch, this LMG will be okay, because we can't pack a punch the Wonder Weapon. We've we figured that much out already. Like, okay, I think we're, I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to try to like, well, I mean, trying to run laps around the map is what led to me, I think, dying in the first place. So I'm just hoping this thing has, like, unlimited... This thing stays a one hit. The problem, though, you run into is, like, anytime you have a melee weapon, the the overall damage can be, like, you know, inconsistent. And you got the lunge. The lunge is not helpful. Ouch. Uh, you see, I don't know a good way to run the train, and then my guy slows down anytime I try to do something. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, this is that door we opened. Everything's so tight, bruh. I need that thing on my back. Need enough to pack a punch. Where'd they go? I 
I do not like this whole invisible blood thing. That is like messing. That's messing with me more than anything. Okay, got a pretty. Okay, one shot headshot. Reload speed is still the slowest god dang thing I've ever experienced in my career. I know we don't have speed cola right now, but Jesus Christ. So the paralyzing kaleidoscopic pulverizer, that is a mouthful. So one shot headshot, I think we can kind of manage now. Especially if we do this. We just burst fire it slowly. Like, maybe two rounds and we'll have our uh, investment back, but... I mean, I'm going to have to buy... Speed Cola again, I think, because by time... Because, like, we're going to have to run laps one way or another. Once the, uh, once the old green grass man comes back. God dang, I thought we'd have our investment back in two rounds. We ain't even going to make back enough. We ain't going to make enough to get, uh... Speed cola. Okay, and we okay, so we can pack a punch again and get you know a death effect. But I don't like. I'm sure. I think this guy's gonna come back this round as well. I'm just really trying to go for like, cause it's a one shot to the head, which is really nice. That is, if you hit him in the head. And you don't have blood splatter popping up on your screen every two seconds. Because then, like, you literally can't see what's in front of you whenever it's doing that. Maybe we need to just kind of focus on getting our 25k points, because... This, this game mode is staying kind of hairy, you feel me? I'm going to go for pack... I mean, I'm going to go for speed. I mean, we got plenty of ammunition. So, it's like, that's not the problem. Map layout, the big green grass fella, and... Okay, we got tigers again. Okay. Pack a punch makes dealing with them a lot easier. Oh, normally I would go for stamina up right now because these zombies are fast as all get out, but the stamina up's not really going to help us when it comes to the, uh, you know, to reloading because like we, we can't run and reload at the same time. Like if there was a door right here that we that wouldn't have opened, we would be like really really cooking. Bro, that, mm, that's so frustrating. It's just random blood splatters. It's like the zombie models are still standing there. They're just invisible. But I feel like I'm only saying negative things. This is a very cool map. So, like, you know, don't get me wrong on that front. The wonder weapon seems a little, you know, underwhelming. Let's see what the reload speed is now. Okay, that feels... I, I think Pack-A-Punch, it might have helped, or that could just be in the back of my mind, maybe. I'm trying to figure out where that green guy came from last time. I guess he just grew out of the ground, maybe, and I just didn't notice it. So now that they're starting to take a couple more rounds of this, even if I get headshots, I got to keep an eye on my ammo so that I can, you know, make a make a run for it or at least kind of time my reloads. Or, you know, do that and just kind of really lay it to them whenever they get, they start to, uh, you know, get close up on me.
Okay, okay. So if my math is not completely wrong, it's going to really depend and be, you know, like on the green guy and if I go down again. But if I don't go down again, I think we can have 25K by round 20. I just spit all over my microphone. I'd love to get a couple stabby stabs in. But the time it takes to switch to my LMG is kind of... Well, maybe it's not that slow. Okay, good. That's a nice way to reload. Oh, my... That's what we need. Just let the bullets fly, you know? You know, it's like, it's not that bad as long as we can get through the whole round without having to reload. Having to reload is what really hurts us. So, boom. Because, like, we're not, like, we don't need another gun. Like, we're not going to run out of ammunition with this LMG. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, I don't think it would be possible. Like, we could just flip and let things fly. But the way we're, like, with our current... Ah! Bro, these tigers, this is retarded. I'm using more ammo on the tigers than I am, like, per round of zombies, I feel like. What am I doing? It reloads for me. Okay, we need 10 Gs, baby. 10 Gs. That other guy's got to be coming. Maybe he comes over 10 rounds. Because he's just stressful because then we have to move around the map. But, I mean, now we have enough funds to, you know, buy doors and such if we need to. As we move around that first time, we did not. We was out of, uh... Oh, I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it. Come on, come on. Give daddy the money. Show daddy the money. Okay, about 150 rounds. Okay, sweet. Oh, and going to reload for me? Round 19, what did I tell you? Like, if things go halfway as good, except for the fact that the... Well, if he comes over 10 rounds, then we're good either way. Just give me 3,800 points and I'll be out of your hair, bro. I'll be out of your hair. Maybe that boss guy only comes one time. Maybe it was like just meant to be like an early level boss fight. Oh, oh. Okay, I need collateral points, but... I just hope this thing actually does damage. Okay, yeah, I feel like my points are not nearly as successful with this thing. If I can try to speed through this round, get that insta-kill. Oh, bro, we're so close. Oh, yeah. We got it. Boom, we got it, bro. We got it. Let's try to get over here while we got insta-kill. And, boom. You have escaped erosion. Got it at round 20. We had one down, but that was just a goof. So, boom. Got to say, great map for it to be that new and to have only, really, the only problem I seen was that there was that little weird blood effect whenever, like, you know, it's like an invisible zombie model was chilling there and just... Kind of dicking up your screen. I feel like the Tigers have a bit of a... They have a lot... They have a d good bit of health. Maybe when it said they buffed zombie health, they was just, you know, referring to the Tiger dog flaming zombie cunts. Um, but yeah, guys, if you're into custom zombies, you play custom zombies, give Erosion a look. It seems really dope. Big thanks to the whoever the people are that created it. 
um, it's it's nifty. I like it. It's got a really nice atmospheric effect. And if it was a multiplayer map, I'm sure the people that played the you know OG Modern Warfare three will appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so as always, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. Share your friends. Check the link in the description of the channel. Sub to those as well. Hit me up in the comments section. And until the next one, adios.